Okay, example six, and again, this is the one with the odd number of zeros, so that, that deals with that scenario. So, again, I'm looking at 40 million as the number, and I've got a pair of zeros, I have a second pair of zeros, I have a third pair of zeros, I've got a fourth zero, or a zero that hasn't been dealt with yet, right? So, this whole idea about pulling out these zeros, I always start with a one, followed by a zero for that pair, a zero for that pair, and a zero for that pair. So all together, that, those six zeros, I get to pull out a thousand. I still have a square root of 40 left in. Okay? If I consider 40, prime factorization of 40, I'd go 4 times 10 first, 4 is 2 times 2, and 10 is 2 times 5. So that gets me to 1,000 times the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Uh, and once I get the prime factored form of 40 there, a pair of 2's inside, I get to pull a 2 outside. I got a 2 and a 5, both non-paired left inside. So I'm left with this product outside, this product inside, so I've got my square root structure, number, square root of number. 2 times 1,000 outside is 2,000. 2 times 5 inside is 10. 2,000 times the square root of 10 is the end result. So again, every pair of zeros, pull those out first. What that does is it takes it from a really huge number inside to a reasonable size number inside. Then if you need to factor beyond that, you're able to do that.